Hello YouTube. I am back with another special video. Again, the people or the lovely Pam, I shouldn't say the people, but the lovely Pam over at Starseed Academy was kind enough to send me an extra deck when she sent me the little messages deck to make videos with. And that is Wizard's Tarot by Barbara Moore. And this is published by Llewellyn. We found a bag. Um, this is a beautiful box. The, the images are amazing. It is a magnetic flip box, so it locks shut. And it's a good size box. This is this will let you put it up on a shelf. Inside, this is the back of the cards, blown up. I love this picture. I would love to get a print to put on the wall. Like, not even kidding. And one really cool thing is, you see how it's got the ribbon? The ribbon not only lifts up the deck, but it lifts up the book as well. Uh, you just kind of got to put a finger in it and grab the book. We're going to put that back down uh, so I don't spill the cards. But the book is amazing. This is a good, thick book. The book itself is over 200 pages. My last count is 235. This covers everything from the history of tarot to something about uh, some information about wizards, information about magic paths, and uh, spreads. Uh, what else did it say it has? It's got information about the author and the artist. The artist is Chloe Cypress. And the... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That is the copyright for the photographer. The artist is, I think you say her name, Meek or Mikey Jansons. Mieke. It's M-I-E-K-E. -E. I'm so sorry. I'm butchering that. That is the artist. And this is the author here. The author. Artist. Beautiful decks. Um, yep, it is. Chapter 1 of Tarot and Wizards, then Reading the Cards, Major and Minor Arcana, Court Cards, Spreads, and the Magical Path, and the Conclusion. It's got a beautiful new book smell. It's glossy pages. Um, as you can see, very glossy, very pretty. The pictures, I don't, are mostly the tarot cards from what I can see, but I'm not sure if they all are. And it explains what each number means. So, like, this is sixes. Um, the sixes are the next mini-cycle conclusion. This cycle includes the establishing of stability with the fours, which is consequently turned topsy-turvy with the fives. It ends with the sixes bringing in a new normal that incorporates the remaining remnants of stability and the lingering shreds of chaos. Sixes are almost always looked at fondly because they follow difficult times. They bring with them a sense of relief and make us feel grateful. That's just part of what it says, but that's all you need. For the cards, it gives you a keyword, keywords reversed, and then a little section that talks about each card. And uh, in the court cards, there is no reversed, just keywords and that little section. So there's a lot of information given. It breaks it up um, by two, aces, twos, threes, fours, fives, instead of by suit, which is pretty cool. And all in all, I cannot wait to read this book. And that's not something I say with many tarot books at all. Mostly, I get the book out of the box. It goes to the side. And I might thumb through it if I'm really stuck one day. Uh, I very rarely read the books. I'm going to read this one. Let's pull the little ribbon again. Under the cards is the Ace of Wands picture printed in the box. And the back has some information about the deck. And it's got some card previews. So I know a lot of people want those previews in a box and that's gonna make a lot of people happy. As I said, this is the back, which is that first picture I showed you, just smaller. I went ahead and organized this back into major and major arcana, minor arcana, and then of course broke it down the minor arcana to suits. So I'm gonna do this starting with, um, I'm gonna go backwards because I put it together a little bit weird. Instead of starting with the full, I'm going to start with the world. Okay, and let's get going. When I say that this is my favorite world card, I'm not lying. This world is stunning. As you can see, there's some gold foil effect. Um, it doesn't really shine, but it's just that pretty gold tag at the bottom where the name is. I love this. Again, this is a very sturdy card, by the way. 
Um, this is going to be a lot longer, so I don't want to do anything after I'm going to do it all at once. Very sturdy cards, very clear photos, very well done. Nice thick cardstock. Next is Judgment. And for this, I like the fact that the dead are called to life by an owl spirit. So it still has the a little bit of the Christian overturn, overtones, but not blatantly. It, it leaves room for you to interpret it as you will. I like that. Next, we have the sun. I won't lie. I wish this horse was a unicorn. That would have been better in my opinion, but I'm not the artist, so it is what it is. It's what I would have done. I would have made it a unicorn. Next, we have the moon. And I like how like the crawfish is really big and coming out. And instead of looking across the water towards the beach, you're looking from the beach across the water. That's pretty cool. And I like how the towers are bigger. My ear hurts. I got it pierced today. It hurts so bad. Next is the star. And this is just another gorgeous card. I'm not going to lie. Most of these cards are just stunning. Um, and I know that this, this was uh, a mass market deck. But oh my goodness, I'm so blessed to have it. It's so beautiful. The tower. The devil. This is a unique devil card if I've ever seen one. Temperance. And I like how she's pouring her cups onto the infinity symbol. If y'all haven't noticed, I have a thing for the infinity symbol. And that just really makes me happy. I like this devil card. It's pretty, but explain to me why he looks like Edward Cullen. And not just Robert Pattinson, but he looks like Robert Pattinson as Edward Cullen. Explain that to me, please. Was that intentional or did it just happen? Somebody needs to know. We have the hanged man. We have justice. We have the wheel of fortune. And this is my favorite wheel of fortune card ever. This is drop dead, stunningly gorgeous. Like I want a print of this on my wall. I would get this tattooed on me. I like how each each line is the element. Um, we got fire, we've got earth, we've got air, we've got water. Everything is there and I love it. I love, 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 love it. They did a really good job on that one. We have the hermit with his cool little um, decorated staff here. We have the strength card. And I feel like this was inspired by Daenerys of Game of Thrones. Uh, not just the books, but the literal, the TV character. It looks like the TV character. The Chariot. And I like that this one is with dragons. The Lovers. The Hierophant, and I like how he's a teacher here. The Emperor. This is a mean looking Emperor if I've ever seen one. The Empress with her cute little kitty. The High Priestess with all that blue. This is my favorite High Priestess card ever. This is another one I would put on my wall. The Magician. The Fool. My eyes are getting dry. I'm really thinking I'm getting sick. Now we start the Cups. King of Cups. Queen of Cups. Which I love her. I love how her skirt fades into the reflection. The Knight of Cups. And I do notice that the knights on here are mostly um, female or asexual looking. Um, you can almost not tell which gender they are. Or they're blatantly female. Which is odd because I would expect that with the page. I do have... The Page of Cups is a female. 
I think I have one more female, but for the most part, it's the knights that are feminine, and that's, that's a unique twist. Ten of Cups. God, my eyes burn. Nine of Cups. Eight of Cups. Seven of Cups. Sorry, I was staring at that picture there. Six of Cups. I love this picture. It's so pretty. It's almost like she's training him, and that's what caught my eye. He's handing, she's handing him the cup. I see the books and the cups in the back. I love it. I haven't really looked at this deck yet, so I'm sorry if I pause and kind of stare. We have the five of cups, and I like how her two non-spill cups are up here and safe. They keep themselves out of trouble. Four of cups. He screams apathetic if, if you, you don't put it together yourself. He's just screaming apathy there. All those books, and you're, just, you're staring off in the space, really? Three of Cups. Two of Cups. Ace of Cups. Sorry. I just, I don't know. I got wrapped up in the queen there. These cards are speaking to me, and I'm getting my own little in, in, interpretations while I'm just kind of going. I've never had this happen with a deck before. This is amazing. King of Swords. I love this Queen of Swords. She just sucked me in just then. And I was kind of like, I don't want to say I was journeying, but I was just hearing all the things in my head. Knight of Swords, as you can see what I'm talking about with the feminine here. Page of Swords. Ten of Swords. Nine of Swords. Eight of Swords. This is my favorite Eight of Swords I've ever seen. Seven of Swords, and I love how the books have the swords on them, and he's still stealing them and getting, you know, getting out of Dodge, spilling them. Six of Swords. It reminds me of Harry Potter with the motorbike. Five of Swords. And I like how, you know, he's, he, you see the unfair advantage he's got, and... It kind of suggests he's having his way with the woman and the guy can't do anything. That's not cool. I don't like rape, but I hope I'm wrong, but you kind of see that unfair advantage he's got. The Four of Swords, and I like how it's actually a sleeping person instead of a dead guy in his tomb. Because, I don't know, that just makes it seem final. And doesn't it doesn't make me think of the coming back that it's supposed to, you know? Three of Swords... Two of Swords, and I like how she's doing her exercise and isn't just sat there blindfolded doing nothing. Ace of Swords. King of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Oh, stuck on band-aids there. I gotta get my nails done tomorrow, and I don't want to. Page of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. And I like how the whole family is included in this, unlike the traditional where they kind of ignore each other. The Nine of Pentacles. I like how she's alone, but she doesn't seem to be so sad and suffering like she is in the original when you look at it long enough. The Eight of Pentacles. 
Seven of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. And they made the church good and big on this one, didn't they? No denying, they're almost home there. Four of Pentacles. Whoa. It like flicked up on me. The Four of Pentacles, and he's got himself chained up to count his money like Ebenezer Scrooge in the uh, Christmas Carol. Three of Pentacles, teamwork on a spell. Two of Pentacles, if that's not balanced, I don't know what is. Ace of Pentacles, and my favorite ace thus far. King of Wands. Queen of Wands. Knight of Wands, and see what I mean about the females. Page of Wands. Ten of Wands. Nine of Wands. Eight of Wands. Seven of Wands. Six of Wands. And that's one hell of a victory right there. Five of Wands. Four of Wands. Three of Wands. Two of Wands. And my absolute favorite ace is the Ace of Wands. So that is the Wizard's Tarot deck that I was sent. Um, this is definitely a deck that I would pay my own money for if I needed to. If anything happens to this, I would definitely buy my own copy to replace it. I love the packaging. The price that is listed on this is $30, $29.99 US. It is well worth every penny. The card quality is there. The book quality is there. The box is there. Like you could use this box to store it in. Listen, this is a good solid box. It's not, it's not that flimsy cardboard. It's good and solid. You could put this on a bookshelf and it looks so nice. It says it's a 244 page book, but I told you what the page count was. So somebody made a mistake somewhere there. Unless they're counting all the blank pages, that's not right. But look how pretty the spine would be on a bookshelf, like for real. Whichever way you do it, it's beautiful. The picture on this side is the Queen of Swords. And the picture on this side is the Hermit. Um, I forget which card this one is. I do believe it is a card. Um, and like I said, you've got the Eight of Pentacles, uh, Nine of Wands, Four of I think that's wands is the cover of the book. Uh, the Empress and the Emperor. That's the card that's on the back. And of course, like I said, the cover of the book. That is a card front as well. And that's right in the middle. Um, all in all, this is an amazing deck. And I feel that it was well done. I would, I love Llewellyn anyway. They are my go-to brand. I, I've loved them since I got into um, the whole witchcraft scene. And most of the tarot stuff that I get from them is very good quality anyway. Tarot is one of the, I mean, uh, tarot. Llewellyn is one of the companies that I would love, 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 love to work with as my page grows more and to do some PR for because their stuff is just amazing and I can't always afford it, but when I can, I get it. Like, I would love to work with Llewellyn. So maybe one day. And I am so grateful to Pam for giving me a chance to get this deck. Because this is not something that I ever would have found without her. And what can I say? I cannot wait to be doing readings with this. I will be doing readings starting tomorrow. I will be doing my daily draws with this. To kind of familiarize myself with it and get grips with it. 
come to grips with it before I use it on anything or anybody else. So as I said in the last video, pay attention tomorrow to my Instagram and pay attention to my TikToks. I'm going to be doing some more over there with both decks, mainly the Little Messages deck, but some of both. Um, definitely pay attention to the Instagram and the Facebook fan page, Twitter, Tumblr. Um, I will have these will be my daily draw cards for some time now. I'm going to use the daily draws to kind of get a feel for them and see how they work. So, with all that said, this video is probably way longer than it needs to be. <laughs> I hope that you've enjoyed watching. Thanks so much again to Pam from Starseed Academy for giving me this lovely opportunity. And I hope I get to work with you again in the future. Um, whenever you have a deck that you want to, want to get help spreading the word, let me know. I'm your girl. Um... If you like what you've seen, please take a moment to click that subscription button. It helps me so much. It helps me get to my thousand for the monetization. It lets other people know that there are people who are interested. Go ahead and click the button. And, you know, it shows me that people actually care. Um, if you do click the subscription button, please take that extra moment and click the notification bell. It'll let you know whenever I post a new video and it'll help me get those watch hours I so desperately need. Um... Check the description box. Everything that you need is down there. There will be a link to the Etsy as well as the deck name um, where you can buy this. There will be my Amazon wish list if you want to see what I'm interested in buying or you want to send me a little happy gift. Um, my PayPal and Cash App are down there if you want to purchase a reading or send a tip or a donation. Um, all of my social media. So you can follow my Instagram both my personal and my tarot page. You can follow my Facebook page for the channel. You can follow my Twitter and TikTok. TikTok is Miss Ashy Cat. I'm sorry, TikTok is Ashy Cat. Miss Ashy Cat is the backup, and that's the second time I've done that. So follow me on TikTok at Ashy Cat. Follow me on Instagram at Miss Ashy Cat. Twitter at Miss Ashy Cat. Um, Tumblr, Miss Ashy Cat. M S A S H Y C A T can't miss me. A-S-H-Y-C-A-T is my Ashy Cat. I have Snapchat, but I don't have that link. Let me know if you guys want the link to that. And um, I think that's everything. I will see you all again Sunday with my general readings. And hopefully we will be using these decks for those. I'll see you all again then. Have a good night. Bye.